Greetings, I'm Nunes Lies, and today I'm going to be showing you how the weapon system works in Lies of P very quickly. So, weapons are usually found around the world, or they drop from enemies, or from quest lines. Weapons are usually composed of two items, the blade and the handle. You can take a blade from a different weapon and put it onto another handle, and so on and so forth. But to do that, you have to progress to a certain point in the game, so you won't be able to do so right off the bat. So, for example, currently I'm using the Great Sword of Fate Blade and the Crash Police Baton Handle, which are two different weapons, and this is the moveset for this weapon combination. It's not great or anything, but it deals a lot of damage and it scales. It's an A-scaling strength weapon. The strength in this game is called Motivity, so it's a Motivity scaling weapon. Handles and blades will change. Uh, but you can combine it right here with different things. So keep an eye out on the scaling here in the middle because changing the handle will change the scaling of the weapon. Scaling means how much a weapon will benefit from your stat. So for example, if I have a handle that allows me to get an A on motivity, that means I will benefit a lot from having a high motivity. You can also increase increase scaling here by going to Eugenie here and altering handle. Once again, you have to progress through the game to unlock these tools, okay? Because uh, you will find these tools later on in the game. You won't be able to do so right off the bat. So once you have a motivity crank, you will be able to upgrade your handle by putting a motivity crank on it. But if you're a technique build or an advanced build, you can also find technique cranks around the world. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have to be motivity is my point, but since I'm a motivity build, I'm looking for motivity. If you press R1 here or RB, you can upgrade your other uh, things here. As you can see here, the ability scaling will change depending on the things that you upgrade. So, or you put on it, uh, depending on the cranks that you put on it. So, there you go. If I, if I take a glaive, for example, that is a, a weapon that's already a B in technique, if I put a technique crank on it, it will infuse it with technique and will increase its scaling. So the more you upgrade, the more motivity cranks you put into a handle, the more effective, the more the scaling will increase. Also, you upgrade weapons with Moonstone. Moonstone is something that drops and you find as you progress through the game. So this game is very, very linear. So you will find Moonstone Shards as you progress through the, through the game, and this will allow you to add a plus one on your weapon. So plus one, plus two, plus three, and so on and so forth. And you, then you use your Ergo to upgrade it at Eugenie at the Hotel Krat, which is the hub place right here. Now let's check out a different build here. So let's say I want an axe with a handle that's a very long handle. So this will make it a technique scaling weapon. But then I you have to press the button here to confirm. There we go. Don't worry, it's not final. You can disassemble these weapons and build a new one. So for example, here you go. I have a really cool axe that still has an axe, you know, type of moveset, but it has also add the additional moveset from the handle. That's my arm. <laughs> so yeah, I encourage you to try different builds and different combinations, but always keep an eye out for scaling. Always settle for a specific scaling. Don't just go all over the place. Hopefully you found this video helpful or entertaining. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.